Okay, so in this video I want to show you how we can develop the bevels for our skew gable using the steel square method and as before with um, previous steel square videos um, I'm just going to show you what dimensions you need to put on what part of the square I'm not going to go right into the calculations because chances of you guys having a roof exactly the same as the one I've got here is um, pretty uh, pretty slim so calculations there it's all fully walked, uh, worked on the screen so if you want to pause it and have a look at the calculations uh, you can do it that way but I'm not going to take a lot of time looking at the calculations more than just letting you know what has to go on uh, each part of the square so just so you know this is set up for a 22 and a half degree pitch roof uh, with a 20 degree offset angle. So if you do have a roof that's going to be that shape, then all you're all good. So a few of these are fairly uh, familiar. So obviously we need, we need to know a half span of our building. We need to know how far this skew offset is. And we also need to know what this uh, angle here or the angle here is. Okay, so if we know what the angle here is, we can just take um, take that angle away from 90, which will give us a, uh, in this case, 70, because this is a 20 degree angle. So that's what we need to know before we start. So as I said, a lot of these are, are fairly familiar. Um, so obviously when we do our rise, we get our pitch, we automatically develop our plumb and level bevels. So again, for our plumb and level bevels, we need to know our rise. And we need to know a half span of our roof. And we can put them onto our square. So rise over here and half span of the roof. And we work out the rise by tanning the pitch of the roof times out by the half span will give us our rise. So we can put that on there. And that gives us those two bevels. So then we go back to our third bevel, which is the edge bevel for our creeper to the gable rafter. So what we did before, or previously, we drew in a creeper here, and we took that length and drew it up at 90 degrees. So that there is actually representational of this length here, the true length of our rafter. And if we took that out to its full size, so it actually met there, we would have half our offset. Okay, so we'd actually end up with the triangle, which is true length of our rafter and half our offset. So we need those dimensions. So to work out our rafter, half span divided by cos and the roof pitch, and to work out our offset, okay, uh, tan the offset angle times that by the span, and make sure you divide it by two to get half. So that gives us our edge bevel creeper to the gable rafter. Okay, and it was next to the rafter, so this one's a little bit different. Most of our bevels have been up there. But this one actually goes down there. So bevel four is we start starting to get into the bevels for the skew gable now, so We've developed our skew gable. So plumb and level bevel for our skew gable. Obviously we're going to need the rise and we're going to need to know the half span of our skew gable. So over to the steel square. Uh, we can work out the rise and the half span of the skew gable and put them on the square. And that'll give us our plumb and level bevel for our gable rafter. Then we need the edge bevel for the gable rafter. So as you can see here, what we used, uh, we used half, oh sorry, the true length of our rafter. And then we worked out this line. Then the way we work out that line is by using the tan of this angle and this dimension. So if we would actually 
push this line over to here, we'd have tan um, that angle times by the half span of our skew. And that would give us this level line here. And then we can use the true length of the rafter of, as our second dimension. So. so the skew rafter, we knew what that was from previous calcs. Our level line for the edge bevel, uh, tan angle one um, times by half the skew plan length will give us our answer for that. Ends up to be a fairly shallow angle, um, but that's what we need. This gives us uh, a bevel six, the edge bevel for the skew gable rafter. We then need our backing angle. And to develop our backing angle, remember we we had to firstly find out the line here, which is our short level line, and we transferred that around. We also had then to develop this line here, which is our long level line. So the calculations to do that are pretty lengthy. Um, so you had to work out the actual the actual pitch of the skewed end which was a little bit less than 22 and a half degrees because it's a little bit longer. So there's the method there. If you take your rise, divide that by your half span of your skew gable, and then use your inverse tan function on your calculator, that'll actually give you the new angle for your skew end. Okay, and then um, once we know that, we can take our half span of our skew end and divide that by cos and our skew pitch, which is this one we just worked out, and that gives, will give you the rafter length for your, for your skewed rafter. And once we know that, we can then work out our short level line and our long level line. Now, I apologise for some of these symbols, but um, SketchUp didn't let me put a square root sign in, so I've had to improvise with this... Uh, there's a couple of symbols here, so that stands in for square root. And I also couldn't find a symbol for squared, although this is what my Galaxy phone calculator does to represent squared. So this is just a the um, process of Pythagoras. Okay, so once we've gone through all this Pythagoras um, process, we divide that by the tan of the skewed angle, this one up the top again. That'll give us our long level line. Once again, this is that backing angle, so it's very, very shallow. And there it is there, the backing angle for the gable rafter. Okay, so that just leaves our purlin bevels. So, face bevel purlin. Okay, this is the way we originally developed it. But if you remember from the oblique end, uh, when we go to the steel square, we have to use this face line purlin and, oh sorry, not that one, this one here, the face line of the purlin. So the face line of the purlin and our rise gives us bevel 8. So to work out the face line of the purlin, What you need is the raft length divided by the tan of the skew pitch. So that's your 21 degrees, not your 22 and a half. Okay, and then of course you need the rise to give you the face bevel for the gable rafter. And again, same as every other roof that we've done, our edge bevel for our purlin is formed when we do bevel three, our edge bevel creeper. So it's already done, it's up there. And if we go back to our square that we had bevel three on, we'll have bevel nine. So there you go, there are the bevels required to cut a skew gable roof.